Hey yo, it's J Jack here. I'm documenting this for my journey. I'll put the first part, which was a wild card, in the description below. It's two races later, and my goal was to be able to swing up and get Ricardo. I'm 0.3 million behind. And here's my situation. If I'd picked up Ocon right after the previous race, I would have been able to get the upswing and pick up Ricardo before this last race. And that would have been amazing. But right now, here I've got something to show why I have to act now to pick up Ricardo. Here on the infographics tab of my Google Sheet, I'll put the link in the description below. I'm tracking the McLaren sentiment tracker. The bold blue line is for the team, the dashed line is for Ricardo, and the dotted line is for Norris. Ricardo, over the last few weeks, has been losing a lot of money value, and I wanted to pick him up when he was cheaper before the inevitable McLaren upswing that I thought he was going to have as the season progressed. And you can see here on the right side of this graph, his dash line has finally crossed the black line. He has never crossed into the positive since the season began. Began. So I know for a fact that he's going to be raising in value before the end of the week. Looking here on the rank tab of my spreadsheet, Ricardo for the first time is now at a positive points per million. He's at a 1.1. Signs, who I currently have, and I was having him as a placeholder until I could afford Ricardo. He's at a 0.9, but he's at negative 0.7 value. Ricardo's at a 0.6, which means both of these drivers are very similar to their cost. So if I don't pick up Ricardo before his price goes up, he's going to get overpriced, overvalued. I want to pick him up now. Also looking at my sentiment, Leclerc's at 90%, I have him. Verstappen's at 81%, I have him. Ocon's at 68%, I have him. Ricardo's at 9 And like I said, by the end of the week, he's probably going to shoot up as people try to pick him up. So my goal is to drop signs to pick up Mick Schumacher, who's at 73 because then I can have the top four drivers to get to that 100% in the sentiment so that I can at least get the 0.3 million that I need. I need at least four running, then I can get it. The other reason why I want to get Ricardo is of all the teammates, you have Raikkonen, and Giovinazzi have been splitting, but you have Ricardo and Norris who have been splitting. So if I have both of those drivers, I know it seems like I'm going all in on McLaren with the constructor. That's who I can afford. Since Ricardo and Norris are 50-50, then that means I'm going to get even spread of bonus points. And so that's another reason to pick up Ricardo. Whereas with signs before, Leclerc was getting all those bonus points. I have in the price point tab of my Google Sheet, I can compare what I have with signs in Team 1 and then what I would have with Ricardo when I pick him up. All the yellow highlights show where there's better qualifying, more positions gained over the course of the race, more teammate battle win percentages, and the points for the season and the average points are going to be greater. This is the big reason why I'm trying to get the extra 0.3 million, which will put me at 102.7 million over the cap, which is 100 million. Like I said earlier, since I cannot pick up Ricardo right now, Sainz isn't going to go up in value like he should. I'm picking up Schumacher, so I at least have four drivers that are going to be going up in value, potentially, before Ricardo does. And that way I can get my 0.3 million before the end of the week. Team two is specifically for day trading to figure out how this system works. And I want your comments below. How have you been trying to get more expensive drivers? What do you think of the strategy I'm trying to employ to try to shoot up so I get in the top five, type six drivers that are going to continue increasing as the season progresses? And until next time, I'll see you on the pit wall. Peace.